Hello, I'm Despina and today I'm happy to present our work Neural Parts Learning Expressive 3D Shape Abstraction with Invertible Neural Networks, a joint work with Angelos Katharopoulos, Andreas Geiger and Sanja Fiedler. Existing primitive paste representations seek to infer semantically consistent part arrangements across different objects and provide a more interpretable alternative compared to more powerful implicit representations. They rely on simple shapes such as 3D cuboids, superquadrics, 3D anisotropic Gaussians or more general convex shapes. In this paper we identify that there exists a trade-off between the reconstruction quality and the number of parts in primitive paste methods. Due to their simple parameterization, existing primitives have limited expressivity and require a large number of parts for capturing complex geometries. However, using more parts results in less interpretable abstractions since they do not correspond to identifiable parts. For example, primitive base reconstruction with 50 convexes result in accurate reconstructions, however, it is not possible to identify whether this part corresponds to a human part or a plane part. To address this, we introduce neural parts, a primitive representation that is not limited to a specific family of shapes, which results in geometrically more accurate and semantically more meaningful abstractions compared to simpler primitives. For example, reconstructing planes and humans with neural parts results in clearly identifiable semantic parts, such as legs and arms for humans, and wings and tails for planes. Existing primitive-based methods utilize a feature extractor architecture that directly predicts the primitive parameters conditioned on the input. This constrains the predicted parts to a specific family of shapes such as cuboids, superquadrics or convexes. Instead, we define each primitive as the deformation of a sphere that is conditioned on the input via a predicted latent vector. This formulation allows each primitive to be an arbitrarily complex zero-zero shape. We define this deformation as a homeomorphic mapping implemented with an invertible neural network. This allows us to get an explicit mesh representation as well as an implicit occupancy representation for its primitive using the forward and inverse mapping of the invertible neural network. The input to our model is an image of the object and during training our supervision comes from a watertight mesh of the target object that is parameterized as a set of surface samples and occupancy pairs. The feature extractor predicts a global feature representation for the input and concatenates it with a set of learnable embeddings, one for each primitive. Using our conditional invertible neural network, we deform a sphere into m primitives and vice versa. Parameterizing the homeomorphism with an invertible neural network allows us to optimize our network using a chamfer loss between points on the surface of the predicted shape and the target object as well as with an occupancy loss that ensures that the free and the occupied space of the predicted and the target shape coincide. Moreover, we define three auxiliary losses that enforce firstly that the orientation of the normals of the predicted and the target shape is consistent, secondly that primitives do not overlap which ensures that they describe different parts of the object, and finally a loss that prevents degenerate primitive arrangements where some primitives are very small and do not contribute to the reconstruction. Let's have a look now at some results. Neural parts decouple the reconstruction quality from the number of primitives as they achieve the same performance regardless of the number of primitives. This allows us to select the appropriate abstraction level based on our application without having to compromise abstraction to improve reconstruction. We evaluate our model on the 3D reconstruction task on dynamic Faust and show that neural parts result in semantically meaningful abstractions such as legs and arms, whereas simpler primitives require an order of magnitude more parts to accurately represent the target object. As a result, simpler primitives do not correspond to meaningful abstractions. We also demonstrate that neural parts preserve their semantic identity through a wide range of human motion since the same primitive is consistently used for representing the same human part while humans are moving. We further evaluate our model on freehand hands and observe that it faithfully captures fine details of organic shapes such as bent fingers using a single primitive, while prior work focuses primarily on the structure of the predicted shape and misses out fine details. We finally validate our model on various shape net objects and observe that it results in more accurate reconstructions than CVXNet with 5 primitives. When increasing the number of primitives to 25, CVXNet improves in terms of reconstruction quality, but the predicted primitives lack a semantic identity. Thank you very much for your attention. Please check out our webpage for code and additional results.